I would like to welcome you to my channel, The Middle Age Lady. My name is Denise, and in today's video, I wanted to give a quick update to some previous videos I had uploaded in regards to being diagnosed with vaginal atrophy, or as it's also commonly referred to as GSM, and the course of treatment my doctor prescribed being the Vagifem 10 milligram tablets that come preloaded into disposable applicators. Just a quick recap for those of you who are new to my channel. I was diagnosed with vaginal atrophy of April of this year, so April of 2023, after I had been experiencing severe burning in my private area, along with some urinary symptoms, including a couple urinary tract infections. And so once my gynecologist diagnosed me with the vaginal atrophy, he decided the best course of treatment for me would be the Vagifem 10 milligram tablets and told me to take them as directed being to insert one tablet into the vagina once a day for 14 days, and then one tablet in the vagina twice a week after that. And so I continued to use the Vagifem as directed, and then after about six weeks, I noticed that my symptoms from the vaginal atrophy were beginning to subside, meaning I was no longer feeling that horrible burning in my private area, and I no longer had any of the urinary symptoms as well. And then at the two month mark, I had to go back in to see my gynecologist because my previous pap smear had came back abnormal, something I've never experienced in almost the 40 years of getting my pap smears done. And I did do a video about that as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in hearing more about, I hope you'll check that out. But after he repeated the pap and did the pelvic, I asked him how the vagina looked and he said, much better. He said, clearly the Vagifem is definitely working. He said, it looks healthy, it looks restored, it looks exactly as it should look. He further told me that if I wanted to continue on using the Vagifem twice a week as directed, I could. He said, but because the least amount of estrogen we're putting into our body for the least amount of time is always best, as is true with any medicine, obviously the least you're on it, the better off you are. He said, if I wanted to, I could kind of play around with it and maybe go down to once a week or maybe even every other week and then see if I was still gonna get relief from my symptoms. The way I thought of it is here, I have finally taken two steps forward to get away from that horrible burning I have been experiencing all throughout my day and the urinary symptoms. And I was so afraid that if I tried to go down to once a week opposed to using the Vagifem twice a week, that I would end up taking four steps back. It scared the heck out of me to even think about doing that. And so I decided that I would wait until I had been on it for a full six months. And then if I was still getting the relief from the symptoms of the vaginal atrophy, that I would go ahead during that time to try and take it down to once a week instead. In the meantime, I don't know if it's because I had relief from my symptoms and so it wasn't in the forefront of my mind anymore. So I wasn't thinking about it and I wasn't worrying about it. But my regimen was that I would insert one tablet in the vagina on a Sunday evening and then one tablet in the vagina on a Wednesday evening. I like to do it at night just because that way I was relaxed, I was laying down, I could give the tablet a chance to dissolve before getting up and moving around again. But I noticed that I was starting to forget one of those nights. So let's say I was supposed to insert it on a Sunday, come Tuesday, I would be like, wait a minute, I forgot to insert the tablet on Sunday. And because Wednesday was the next day to do it, which was only a day away, I would just go ahead and forget Sunday and then I would just do it on Wednesday. Or if I was supposed to do it on a Wednesday, come Friday, I would be like, oh no, I forgot to insert the tablet again. I would just forego doing it on Wednesday and I would do it Sunday instead. Well, inadvertently, I was going down to once a week without even realizing that I was doing it. And so after about three weeks of this and noticing that my symptoms weren't coming back, they weren't getting worse, nothing was going on, nothing changed, I decided that maybe it was time to go ahead and take my gynecologist's advice and go ahead and try and go down to once a week opposed to inserting the tablet twice a week. And so it has officially been two weeks worth of doing that, but unofficially it's been more like four or five, meaning so the three weeks prior to that, I was inadvertently only doing it once a week whereas I have consciously only been going down to once a week for two weeks now. And so far, so good. Obviously, if my symptoms start to come back or I start to notice any changes, then I feel like I'll cross that bridge when and if I get to it, and certainly I'll have to address it if that happens. But for now, I feel good about the fact that maybe my body only needs that one dose of estrogen a week in order to keep the symptoms of the vaginal atrophy away and I agree with my doctor, the less estrogen I'm putting into my body, I think the better off I am. And so if I can get by with only doing it once a week and still get relief from my symptoms, 
why wouldn't I do that? I'm not due to go back in and see my gynecologist until June of next year, so June of 2024, and that would be for my annual pelvic exam and pap smear. And so as long as I continue to get relief from using the Vagifem only once a week, that will be nine months by that time that I have only been using the Vagifem once a week. And so I'll be very curious for him to do that pelvic exam and see if he notices any changes to the cervical lining. The other thing I'm curious about is October of last year, so October of 2022, when I went in to have my annual physical done with my family care physician, something I do every year, I asked her if she could include in with the blood work to test my hormone levels, namely my estrogen, since I just felt like my hormone levels were out of whack and I was noticing that there were all these weird things happening within my body. I did do a video about that as well if you're interested in hearing more about it, but I just really thought that I had maybe some kind of hormone imbalance going on. I had already been postmenopausal for several years at this point and I was not yet diagnosed with vaginal atrophy, nor was I displaying any of the symptoms of it. And so I honestly thought whatever was going on within my body was definitely related to my hormones. And so when I got the results back, it said that my estrogen level was less than 15. And so the normal range for a postmenopausal woman would be anywhere from zero to less than 30. Well, mine was pretty much smack dab right in the middle. So I guess average, you could say, which kind of surprised me. I really honestly thought it was going to be a lot lower than that. And so I'm going to be curious when I go in this October, so only a month from now to have that physical done again, I'm going to go ahead and request for her to test my estrogen again, see what my estrogen level is. And now that I have been diagnosed with vaginal atrophy, I've been on Vagifem for six months now and have gone down to only using it once a week for, it's gonna be two months by the time I go in for that appointment. I'm gonna be curious to see whether or not it's changed that estrogen level at all. I am aware that there's gonna be some variables with that, meaning I am a year older, I have been postmenopausal for an additional year now, and so that in itself could change the estrogen level but I'm still gonna be curious as to where it's at. I just feel like that hopefully will tell me a little bit about how much estrogen my body is absorbing from using the Vagifem. Since everything I've read and everything I've been told, it says that very little estrogen actually makes it into the bloodstream. And so once I get these results back, I feel like that's gonna give me a little bit more of a definitive answer as to whether or not it has actually raised my estrogen level. And I'll be back in October to give an update video and let everybody know what that estrogen level came back at. Obviously, I have no idea, but I am definitely curious to see what it's gonna be. But in the meantime, again, I'm gonna continue just to use the Vagifem once a week, opposed to twice a week. If for some reason I start to experience any of the symptoms again, get any of that burning or get any of the urinary symptoms, then I'll go ahead and start it to twice a week again and probably make an appointment with my gynecologist just to have a pelvic exam done and see if he notices any changes to the cervix. But I agree with him and after all the research I've done and everything I've read, that the least amount of estrogen you're putting into the body, the better off you are. And so I feel like if my body can accept the once a week and still keep the symptoms of the vaginal atrophy at bay, then that's definitely what I wanna do. I do realize that we're all different, so what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. And so obviously I'm not meaning to say in this video that every woman should try and go down on her dosage. That's a decision to be made between you and your doctor. I just wanna do an update video because I have talked about this in previous videos, wanting to go down to once a week to let everybody know that I did in fact do that. It's been about four weeks now and so far so good. I'll definitely keep everybody updated, but if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I always try and answer every question I can. Or if you're a woman who has also recently lowered your estrogen dosage, whether you're using the vaginal cream or the Vagifem tablets, I would love to hear about it. So I hope that you'll feel free to leave a comment. I'm sure other people would be interested in hearing about that as well. Other than that, I just want to thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again for the next video.